I'm going to be showing you the new interface for NetWitness today. And the biggest change that we've made since version 10 to 11 is we've integrated packets, logs, and most importantly, endpoint data all into one dashboard. Uh, what this does for you guys as security expert is it'll reduce the time that you need to, to respond either to an alert or dig into an incident or find out what's going on on the network. So if Kurt was actually hunting, he could respond in minutes and not months, which is what the normal time that it takes to find out if you've been breached or not or pwned. So from that point, when you first actually log into NetWitness, this clicker working. Um, what you see right here is all your critical incidents um, sorted out and bubbled to the top. So instead of being inundated with alerts or just emails or anything like that, it'll take all of those, consolidate into them, and say, hey, here's what you should look at. Once you do that, you can click on any one of these and it's gonna take you to what we call this nodal view. And what this does is it visually presents the incident or alert to you and shows you the critical communications between the main property that you're looking at, which in this case is an IP address, and who they've been communicating with back and forth. So in this case, what you see here, um, the green dots are all IP addresses. The pink ones are usernames. Uh, and the bigger they are size-wise, the more uh, packets and streaming or, and data communications that they've had. And also, the thickness of the line uh, delineates how much, how much communication has been happening between those two nodes. Uh, there's some other stuff. If there was on here, you'd see MAC addresses in black. Um, you'd see endpoints in a different color, which we'll get into in a second. What you can do here, uh, this whole map is interactive, so you can click on this side right here and it'll narrow that investigation down just to those points. So if you were to click on a few of those incidents here, it'll show that, hey, these IP addresses have been communicating with these three users and you can drill down into that. Once you click down into that, um, you can see the list view and actually get the details of that communication or each event individually. So I don't know if you guys can see back there or not, but some of these events is uh, the ones that you see here, oh, sorry, is the uh, brute force attack on these, and then you can click down and see what's been going on with each one. If you were to double click on it, what you'll see here is the detailed view on that asset or property. If you have some type of uh, Archer interface or CMDB or somewhere where you keep asset info, it'll pull that right in here and display that. Um, if you also have RSA's endpoint tool, you can click on that and it'll show you this is live data coming in from that endpoint. So it'll give you an IOC score, which shows the indicators of compromise. It'll show you all the processes and modules that are running on there. And from here, you could click on this pivot to that endpoint and it'll take you right into that endpoint and you can pull down files from there uh, quarantine it if you want to, uh, block stuff on there if you want, pull down the master file table, any type of forensics analysis that you would normally do in a separate interface, you would be doing right here. Next one, it'll pull the history for that endpoint and any alerts that have fired for this time or previously, it'll show that. And then on the next one, it'll also show uh, any incidents that have happened. There's one part that doesn't load here, um, you'll see this little uh, website looking thing here. If there was any public info related to that endpoint or a public website that it was communicating with, it will go out and find anything available on the internet with that IP or domain name. For Active Directory, it'll pull any of that data as well. So it can pull it from your Active Directory, CMDB type database, uh, payroll system, HR system, or anything like that, and display that in here as well. The other part, uh, the, other, the second part of this interface that, that we've put together is the investigation interface. So this has been revamped as well from version 10, if you guys are familiar with that. 
And again, what we've done is pulled all those different investigation screen all into one screen here and separated out by tabs that you see right here and goes through. So now what you're looking at here is all the endpoints uh, that it's found, whether it's on the packet side, the log side, and the endpoint side. You can move over to files. You can see individual files either on one workstation, one endpoint, one server, or all of them across the board. You can search all of them as well. So if, you're, if you found one malicious file on one and you want to know if it's running anywhere else, you'll see that here on this screen. Questions, anybody? Kurt, Paul, anything? Camera guy? No. All right. As you drill down, so if this is that uh, update UI EXE, as you drill down into this, it'll tell you the history of that file. Uh, you, can look, you can match hashes with anything. You can connect to virus total or any of those uh, third-party uh, search engine tools uh, for malicious files. You can pull feeds in, see when it was installed, when it was last ran, if it's running right now or not, uh, and go down that whole list. So you can, again, the biggest thing is you can do it all from this one interface rather than move into an endpoint tool. If you look at just one host, uh, if you highlight just the one host, kind of similar to what it was on the dashboard for just the endpoint, you're pulling everything that's actively running on there. And now this screen will also show metadata that's been running and that it's gathering. So what it does is if it's communicating inbound, outbound with any of those servers, it'll put that kind of right here and then all the individual modules they'll put here. Questions? Guys, don't look so excited. Network shares. Here's the biggest part uh, that our endpoint tool does, right? Lateral movement. You can see whether you have the packet side or the log side or not, if that PC or that endpoint is making outbound connections, it'll show you where it's connected to, what commands it's run, any files it was downloaded. We were running a POC recently and one of the machines got hit with ransomware. They called us and said, hey, of the, of the 50 PCs that you were running on, do, do you know if one of these was infected? We logged in, two of those machines were infected. It happened to be a Monday afternoon. They said, hey, what happened? We started looking, I'm like, hey, when did this start? They said it started Monday morning, we started seeing the encrypted connections and the files. We're like, all right, within about half an hour, I'm not a hunter or an instant response guy, but within half an hour, I myself had said, hey, here's what actually happened. Friday evening, they broke in via remote desktop, and all weekend they were searching for malicious files, uh, financial files, retail cookies, dating site cookies, and any other data they could find. Monday morning, they realized there was none of that on there, and then they launched the encrypted connection, downloaded a file from Singapore, and started encrypting files. So within 10 to 30 minutes, we had that. We knew where it was coming from. They wanted to know if they should do anything on the, all the other PCs, take them offline, re-image them. With this tool, we were able to say for sure, with 100% certainty, said, hey, no, it didn't hit anything else. These are the two PCs that we know of. The other 50 were fine. Questions? That's all I got, six to eight minutes. Look at that smile, that's what I like to see. Thank you.